high school door is open in America to you. You're, what do you look for when you're recruiting? It's not so much who's the greatest player out there, because we may not get the greatest player. And I pride ourselves in the fact that let's find those guys that the Pat Bradleys. Let's find them. And uh, you know, Oliver Miller wasn't one of the greatest recruits in the country. You know, uh, all of a sudden he, you know, what a gr what a great talent I've got. And, and, and But I think the system has a lot to do with uh, creating and making these kids better players. Uh, I think the same thing, and then the kid we even have today, and Guy Whitney, mm -hmm. they, they're going to say, where did he come from? You know, because of maybe the system and the work and the things that we've done to get him in a position to make him a pretty good basketball player. I, I think that could happen to him. And so it's not about totally having a whole lot of blue chippers. Sure, we've had some McDonald All-Americans where everybody in the country knows this kid's a pretty good basketball player, the Todd Days, Lee Mayberry. But uh, uh, have you noticed, and I say this to everyone, we don't have first-string uh, NBA players. You know, they go up and they work and they get to play a little bit. But it's not because they're superstars. And a lot of the great players, you know, even Alabama got three or four guys starting on NBA teams, you know. We, we don't have that type of player yet, uh, and hopefully that we will eventually. But I, I'm really proud of the fact that I can look back and say, hey, we got guys that nobody really recruited that are up there trying. Uh, uh, Beck, who was on the team for a while, back to the CBA, Clint McDaniel. I mean, these guys were not one of the hot, hot commodities, but they came to a program which I think made us a better, better uh, made them a better a, a basketball player at the same time made us a better basketball team. The fans and the people in Arkansas, and I didn't find it, the worst thing is probably the weather. Like, you know, everybody else say, one day you can wake up, it's 80 degrees, the next day you can wake up, it's 30 degrees. It's just getting, it's get you sick, you know, you sick, you turn around, you got a cold, then the next day you're trying to dress warm, and it's 80 degrees, you know, you're trying to dress for the weather, you think it's going to be cold or snow, and it's 80 degrees when you wake up. The worst thing, <clears throat> well, I'm going to, I can't really, if you gave me a couple minutes, I could find something else because I got a lot of complaints. But I, I'll have to say that a lot of the guys that I know have a lot of parking difficulties with their vehicles. And I just have to say that they should allow the guys on the team who have cars that want to park in the parking lot outside of the Walton Arena right here, that they should allow them to park there before anyone else because it is where we play during games and things. So I think they should allow them to park right next to the gym so we have easy access. I say the worst thing is like on like Sundays and Mondays today in the cafeteria. Man, <laughs> there's no, not, not too big of a selection of, you know, food. But then you go through Tuesday and then it starts to pick up Sunday and Monday. Real hectic in the cafeteria. Um, I think the best thing and the worst thing is the same, you know, because it's a high publicized um, university. And when you do something good, you know, it'll get blown all up over, you know, across the nation. And also when you do something bad, it could be blown all up across the nation. Like, just little things that happen, you know, that might happen to a normal student. Say if, like, maybe we might break a pencil or something, you know, they put that in the newspaper. But if we did it, they, they might change it around, you know, we didn't do it with somebody, you know. It's just, you know, you're just in a high publicized situation. Probably the best and the worst thing, same thing. Well, the worst is two things. I hate the weather up here. And uh, like my teammates say at the park, I, I mean, it's just a big problem. And the best thing I would have to say would be uh, the fan support. I mean, they support us a lot. I mean, even when we're down, we, you have some people who, you know, want to jump off the bandwagon. Then when you start doing well, jump back on it. But overall, I believe the fan support is the best. Worst thing, gotta be the weather. I like the people here. The weather is just, it's cold. And the best thing, uh, I guess the, the players on the team. The best thing about the university would have to be the, <clears throat> the best thing, I really love the support of the fans here. Cause I, man, just hitting a three-point shot, you know, how, how crazy that going, that gives you just so much courage to keep doing good and, you know, pick it up on defense and everything else. But I say the fans and the support that the coaches give you. 
don't know. The, the movies they show in the Union, uh, every, like every couple hours, they show a different movie each week. And you go down there and watch it for free. I enjoy those because they usually have good movies on. And down in the Union. 